The reading for this Wednesday of the Easter season is from Luke chapter 24. While they were still talking about this, Jesus himself stood among them and said, Peace be with you. They were startled and frightened, thinking they saw a ghost. He said to them, Why are you troubled, and why do doubts rise in your minds? Look at my hands and my feet. It is I myself. Touch me and see. A ghost does not have flesh and bones as you see I have. When he had said this, he showed them his hands and feet. And while they still did not believe it because of joy and amazement, he asked them, Do you have anything here to eat? They gave him a piece of broiled fish, and he took it and ate it in their presence. This is the word of the Lord. You know, the number 40 is a good biblical number. Can you think of times when the number 40 is used in the Bible? In the days of Noah, it rained for 40 days and 40 nights. When Moses went up on Mount Sinai to receive the law, he was up there for 40 days and 40 nights. David ruled as king in Israel for 40 years. And Jesus fasted in the wilderness for 40 days. The time period from Easter to Ascension also is another one of those 40-day time periods. Jesus rose from the dead on Easter Sunday. 40 days later, on Ascension Day, he ascended into heaven. And during that 40-day period, he gave many convincing proofs to his disciples that he was indeed alive again, so that they could know that truth with certainty. You know, we human beings are a nice mix of reason and emotion, but sometimes we have problems with that. What I mean is sometimes we overthink things, right? And that ends up distorting reality. Or sometimes we're overcome with emotion. And again, reality gets distorted because of that. And so for 40 days, Jesus appeared to his disciples at different times, I think in part so that they could process all the things that they were seeing and hearing, and so that they could work through all the emotions that they were feeling. You see this kind of thing in today's reading from Luke chapter 24, where the risen Christ shows himself to his disciples. They wonder, are their minds playing tricks on them? Is this a ghost that they're seeing? Or Luke writes that they have trouble believing because of joy and amazement. And so Jesus appears to them and he says to them, Peace be with you. Look at my hands. Look at my feet. Give me a piece of fish and I'm going to eat it in front of you. Jesus does this to help them process and work through all these things that are going on. And Jesus does that because he wants them to know with certainty that he died on the cross for the sins of the whole world and then three days later, he rose from the dead, Easter Sunday, and defeated death in the grave for us. Jesus wants his disciples to know these things for certain, so that they can be ambassadors for Christ and spread this good news throughout all the world. And that's still the church's message today. Jesus defeated death and the grave through his cross and through his resurrection, and heaven is what God has planned for his church. And so... In an often mixed up world where thoughts and emotions can fail us, it's okay to let God and his word and his promises to us be your rock, your mighty fortress, your solid foundation. It's okay to let God be the one who keeps you centered, who provides stability and clarity for you. It's okay to let him be the one whose steadfast love endures forever. Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your wisdom, guidance, and leadership. Help us to remember our baptism, where we were united with Christ in his death and resurrection for us. Fill our minds and emotions with the certainty of your steadfast love for us, which endures for eternity. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen.